Hello everyone. So this morning I um, I live in Benin, so I stopped at um, the Sapler Road ATM, uh, Zenith Bank ATM at Sapler Road to try to withdraw money because I needed to pay some money at my daughter's school. So I got there, I met a guy trying to withdraw money, or so I thought, and um, I asked him, ah, is it paying? He said he doesn't know because he's trying to do a transfer. So I went to another booth and I put my card in, but the card, the, the machine wasn't paying. So while I stood there grumbling like, ah, this, this machine will not even get money. <laughs> the guy said, mama, I not pay you. <laughs> I said, you not pay me. <laughs> then he said, I'm the POS girl, you go withdraw from me. <laughs> I said, ah, why not? In my heart, oh, this is me time and energy. So. I asked him to bring his POS. He brought out a POS machine from his bag. I gave him my card and he slotted it in, gave it back to me to put my pin. I put my pin and I gave it back to him. He bought it for a while and said, Ah, Mama, you want to talk for this machine? No. I'm like, Ah, okay, no problem. So he gave me back my card. As soon as I got to my car, I became restless in my spirit. I just knew that something was off, something was wrong. But I, don't, I, didn't, I couldn't tell what it was. I was looking at the guy, he was looking at me. Because he was just standing by the machine, that's the Zenith Bank ATM. But I couldn't come down to confront him because I didn't know what was wrong, but I knew something was wrong. So I was telling my son in the car that something happened, this guy did something, but I don't know what he did. And I said, let's go to Fidelity Bank, which was just in front. Let me try and change my PIN, the PIN to my card. So I drove into Fidelity Bank, I went to the ATM booth to change my PIN. And uh, I put it in. Uh, um, Put my pin, it kept saying wrong pin, wrong pin. So I put it out like ah, this is my card. Only for me to look at the card in my hand. It wasn't my card. It wasn't my card. So apparently this guy had swapped my card. In the process of trying to give me back my card, I don't know how he magically did it. He swapped my card. Maybe I was distracted or something. He swapped my card. So I came I ran back to the car to tell my kids, oh, this is what had just happened. This guy swapped my card. So I was trying to open my bank app to see if there's anything I can do about blocking the card or something. And just while I was doing that, I got an alert. He has already collected my money. All I had in the, bar, in the card was for four thousand naira, and he had collected it already. I, so I tried to circle back to see if I would find the guy by the, still by the eight, by the um, Zenith Bank ATM. He wasn't there anymore, you know. So I just said, oh, seriously. First of all, I was just like thanking God, like okay, the money wasn't so much, but. This is Nigeria and everybody is stressing now. Somebody just wakes up in the morning and decides that he's going to defraud another person. It's very pathetic. But you guys need to be to, to be um, safe out there, which is really why I'm making this video. This is a new one. I've not heard it. I've not seen it before. I don't know how his, his machine would have been able to read my pin. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. So if you have to use a POS machine, please use from a person that is known, from a boot that is named. So that we don't run into this kind of funny business a very early morning like this just after seven and somebody has already before they knew of what for honor and then when problems start in his life he's wondering why and where it's coming from but this is just a, a, a me giving you a friendly uh, note or a friendly message be safe out there people are really crazy